my channel. So Monique went live on TikTok earlier this week and revealed that she plans to have a baby with Derek and then get weight loss surgery. And then she went live on TikTok once again and she shared more updates on her and Derek's like living arrangements and their wedding plans. So according to Monique, people were asking her when is she going to move to Cleveland and she says she's pretty much already living out there. She says she's been living in Cleveland for the past three months and her and Derek have been wanting to move to Atlanta but they're trying to wait for him to get off parole. Monique was very optimistic when she said she believes that Derek is going to be getting off parole early and she said their living situation in Cleveland is temporary right now and they plan to be moving in the next few months to either Atlanta or Houston and I'm sure they'll be able to get like a lot more bookings and there'll be a lot more going on out there like Monique was not happy like living in Cleveland she's happy that she gets to be around Derek but she said there's absolutely nothing for her to do there and she doesn't really know anybody out there. Monique also said she wants to have a summer wedding so I wonder if she's trying to get married this summer and she said she doesn't want to have like a big wedding she just wants to have like an intimate wedding and she says a lot of her family won't even be there at her wedding because apparently she only wants people at her wedding who was rocking with her and Derek from the very beginning and she says that a lot of her family didn't approve of Derek so she says it's just going to be a few people. Then after the season finale, Derek took to Instagram to thank WeTV, Monique, and the fans for their support this season. But let's talk about Monique and Derek in this season finale. So Derek dragged Monique down to this ice skating rink. He has her like in this cold weather and she's like in a dress and he's out there talking to her. And he's like, you know, I love you. I'm going to show you I love you. You know, the same old spiel he always gives her every time he messes up. And he's like, you know, I love you, baby. And she's like, Derek, honestly, I came here to break up with you. And he's like, no, baby, just give me another chance. I got you. Let me take you ice skating real quick. And Monique was like, oh, hell to the no. You are not about to have me out here in this ice skating rink, skating around in these ice skating shoes. And Derek had to sit there and go around and ice skate by himself with, like, this little thing to help him ice skate. I've never seen one of those things before. And he was struggling ice skating. But he was disappointed because he couldn't really enjoy himself because Monique was just standing off to the sidelines the whole time. But Monique revealed in her recent TikTok live that she was actually very upset about this whole ice skating date idea by Derek because Monique was like, I ain't never told Derek I want to go ice skating. And she said she felt like production, they kept trying to encourage her to do it. They're like, come on, it'll be fun. And she felt like production was just trying to get like their next big viral moment, like trying to get a clip of her falling and Monique was like no I'm not about to go out there and ice skate because if I fall I'm scared I won't be able to get back up she's gonna have like I've fallen I can't get back up type of moment and she didn't want to deal with all that and she said she was cold she was frustrated she's pissed off at Derek and she was just pretty much over it at that point so after struggling <laughs> to skate with the ice skating training dummy Derek decided to skate his way over to Monique and she was over standing off to the side and he was like, baby, you know, so we're giving her the same spiel again. You know, I love you. I promise I'm not going to hurt you again. I'm going to be honest. I'm done cheating. And then he got on one knee and he proposed to her. And Monique ended up saying yes. I didn't have no doubt in my mind she was going to say yes. She kind of like built the suspense and took like a minute or two before she said yes. But then she said yes. And then after that, she just like seemed like she forgot about everything that Derek did. She was sitting there smiling. She was happy. And Elizabeth just did an interview yesterday with Gio Malik, Derek's sister, and she revealed like when Derek cheated on Monique with those 10 plus women, he cheated on her with 10 women in a matter of 60 days and months. So that man was a busy man. So if he cheated that much in the first two months, I don't know if this man is going to quit cheating anytime soon, but I guess time will only tell. And Monique ended up saying yes, and she looked a little frustrated though after she said yes. But she ended up reviewing in her TikTok live that she was cold and she wasn't that comfortable because she had been sitting outside and filming all day. And she said that she's a little annoyed because she wished Derek would have like took her out to dinner or something and did a normal proposal instead of doing it like at this ice skating rink. But either way, she was still happy that he proposed. And then afterwards, Derek was like, you know what, I'm going to give you the passcodes to my phone. I'm going to give you all my passwords for all my social media accounts and you can track me you can do whatever you know I'm gonna be a complete open book from this 
point forward. So we'll have to see. But according to Monique, she went live on TikTok and she said that now she has Derek's Instagram logged into her phone. So she gets all his messages. She sees all his stuff. And she said that Derek was like, how'd you do that? But she said that he was fine with it and that she still has all his passcode. So apparently he followed through with that. Now that she has all his passcodes and stuff, I don't know if they would have much drama in another season because she wouldn't be going through his phones because she already has all the access on her phone. I don't think he would be doing too much if she knows that she has access to all that unless he's like making other accounts she don't know about. But we'll have to wait and see if they come back. Right now, there is no confirmation if they're coming back or not. But we will not be seeing another season of Life After Lockup regardless until the beginning of 2024. We have Mama June for the next 10 weeks. And then we have a new season of Love During Lockup coming in July. And I haven't seen, like, we saw a preview. I don't know if you guys saw the preview of the new season of Love During Lockup at the end of like during the commercials and the season finale but i did not see ty so it looks like we may not be having ty come back for this season but who knows you know we tv i thought Brittany marcelino were going to come back this season but then they surprised us last minute my personal opinion i think they're gonna end up bringing them back for another season of life after lockup like if they keep bringing back like Brittany marcelino i think they're definitely gonna bring back monique and Derek again because, like, yes, they start off this season very hot and heavy. Like, when the sister drama and the fight, like, the first half of their season, they got, they were going very viral. Monique and Derek on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, every social media possible. Their name was super hot. And it kind of died down more towards the end of the season when they didn't have as much drama going on anymore. It was just her going through his phone every single week. But I feel like that they're going to bring them back because Cameron said that this was supposed to be like one of the most highest gross earning seasons yet. And I think a lot of that was because of the drama that Derek's sister is brought to this and all that. Because like the drama like when Derek first got out and the drama with the whole fight really really started off the season hot and heavy so especially like with Derek and Monique like getting on Angela Yee TMZ like I've never seen other love after lockup cast members make it on TMZ like that so I was shocked to actually see them do that so I feel like we TV is definitely going to take full advantage of that and bring them back but I have nothing to prove that that is just my personal opinion but that's it for this video guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you guys so much for watching.